And hello everybody and welcome to Freedom Fighter this evening. I hope you're all okay, I hope you're all looking after yourselves and I hope you're all speaking and you're all being nice to each other. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Tonight's video will be about addiction. When people think about addiction, the first thing that ever comes to people's minds is alcohol and drugs. Addiction does not have to be technically all about alcohol and drugs. Addiction can be anything. You could be addicted to sugar, e.g. sweets. You could be addicted to gambling. You could be even addicted to alcohol or drugs. Addiction is a big long scale. It doesn't always root to alcohol or drugs. But a lot of people recognise addiction through alcohol and drug use but to be an addict to a substance or to certain things you have to agree yourself that you are an addict and you want help so for example my name is Jim mcdonald aka freedom fighter and i am addicted to telling the truth and fighting corruption that's my addiction okay for an addict in alcohol or drugs or anything like that, they will say in AA meetings and that type of thing, my name is blah 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 and I'm addicted to heroin. And once they actually say that, they'll end up getting a round of applause like this, that's, it takes real guts and uh, efforts to actually say stuff like that. Alcohol addiction, that type in the turn, and say my name is blah blah blah, and I'm an alcoholic. Okay, it takes real guts, and that's a step to actually uh, helping you because you are telling people that you can't help the addiction that you have got, and that type of thing. Addiction is something that is a field that is a specialist field in. Um, mental illness and that type of thing especially if it's drug use and that type of thing but a problem with that, a lot of it is people go running in i'm going to stop today and i'm going to do as soon as you go running in and things like that, that running in first path doesn't always work uh, you have to actually technically want to um stop uh, in a sense you have to want it in your own heart uh, to stop uh, a family member or anything like that cannot tell you to stop you have to want it to stop yourself if you don't have guts and you don't have energy or, or a feeling that you want to actually stop you won't stop and an addiction will last forever you can't just get rid of an addiction like that it's totally impossible that's why you have relapses and that type of thing i'm doing most people on addiction that's why a lot of the time you're going into rehab centers more than once because you've took a relapse onto your addiction and um, you have to think long and hard of the consequences of uh, what the outcomes are going to be with addiction as well um, it has to be for yourself it doesn't always have to be for your family members it has to be for yourself um, a lot of addiction is self um, that's what I'm looking for self implant indentory because you're doing it okay and um, going cold turkey can be good for some people can be bad for other people it depends on it but if you're like an alcoholic just going straight off alcohol will not stop it you have to take steps uh, with a plan uh, to withdraw the alcohol intake uh, you are taking um, just stopping completely can uh, also cause a lot of health um, problems as uh, well so you have to take it in steps uh, when it comes to addiction and you also have to want it yourself um, there's no forms of addiction and it has to be a personal thing it can't just be because someone tells you you're there about it that you've got to stop
when it also comes uh, to addiction as well and you want to actually support an addict uh, the best thing you can actually do is talk to them listen to them and support them um, because through that support stage and for listening to them and supporting them and trying to say yes you can do it and you know it's hard and that type of thing you'll notice that their addiction will actually try to relieve the addiction addiction is a very long and painful process to actually draw um, a person off it it's a painful process for the person that's addicted as well and it's a personal and uh, hard feeling um, family members also take and the person also takes the recovery process you can actually have support for the addict and support for the family a lot of rehabilitation centres will support the addict and support the family some rehabilitation centers will only support the addict but not support the family so you have to bear that in mind as well but the best thing you could do with people that are addicted is go to a proper rehabilitation center because they will help you with your process of redrawing you off that addiction um, if it's gambling and that type of thing, there's programs you can go on to stop relieving of gambling. Um, try and test yourself in a way as well. It's hard, uh, but um, if you're a drug addict, try and um, look what drugs is doing to um, certain people. Look what alcohol is doing to certain people and that type of thing. If you could actually test yourself by going through, by a pub and not going in, um, that can also help as well. Back in two minutes. Yeah, tech um, slow steps to actually rel relieve your addiction. Um, if you can actually try and think of something positive and change your mindset as well uh, from um, that addiction like think of a family holiday that you had uh, where you wasn't doing that addiction and look how happy uh, your family members and that type of thing were walking your dog could even be away as long as you can actually set your mindset to something uh, positive that also helps uh, with a lot of addiction uh, as well but I hope that's been uh, a little chat about addiction and uh, if you need support I'm here to support you and my email is at the bottom and there is also some companies as well that uh, can support you as well uh, with addiction and um, we're all here to support you if you're an addict because we're all addicts it's sad to say but everybody in this world is an addict to something and it's not admitting you're an addict your best thing to do is admit you are an addict but you have to mean what you're saying thank you look after yourselves and respect to everybody